What's up, everybody? My name is Pai. Nice to meet y'all. Welcome to SR Lounge, where we're here to help you be a better photographer. And today's video is all about the Icolite by DMark III underwater housing, which you see here. Oh. This is one of those products that you need to own simply because it makes you look like a professional photographer. Seriously, look at this. I look so pro right now. No I'm kidding. But I had a chance to actually take this out on a shoot, and here's what happened. A client asked me, they said, we want to do this, basically this uh, bodyboarding shoot, not bodyboarding, it was a, what is it called? Paddleboarding. They want to go out and do paddleboarding, and they wanted me to photograph them out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, off our coast here in Laguna Beach, and get cool shots. And I thought, that's amazing. I want to do that too. It'd be really fun, and uh, so I just need an underwater housing. So I went and I got the Icolite underwater housing for this shoot thinking also that I was going to do all these other shoots too, which I have not yet had a chance to do, but I am going to talk about that one single experience. Now when I got the Icolite and I got all the dome and everything that came along with it, it was about $1,800 for just the standard set, okay? So just for the basic kit, it's about $1,800. Depending on what domes and additional accessories you buy, uh, it's about another $500 or so dollars as well if you want to use, say, wide-angle lenses and so forth. But what I had with this setup was the 5D Mark III, the Sigma 35mm art lens, and I used that mainly because I didn't want to deal with like focus control and zoom control and that kind of stuff. I just wanted to have simple AF and no zoom control needed. But you can adapt it to other lenses and it has zoom functionality on the body as well. So you just use like a, a zoom ring that will allow you to zoom in. I said zoom about 15 times right there. So when I got everything together, I looked at the Icolite in the box and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is gonna take me forever to learn how to use. It looks so complicated, it looks so crazy. But I went online onto the website. There was a brief video. It was literally only a few minutes and it was so incredibly simple to use. There's a couple different latches which you can just pop open. You basically screw the bottom onto the camera and you pop it in and with the lens and everything, and you're good to go. The port assembly is so easy to snap on and off. It's just a very simple setup. So I was ready to go within basically 30 minutes of having received the box with the Icolite inside of it. The other cool thing about it is that with a hard underwater casing like this, you get basically manual physical controls of every single button and feature on your camera. So this is my shutter release. This is different controls for my white balance, AF drive, and so forth. I have buttons on the back. I have everything that I would need to control my camera from within, basically, or from outside of this housing unit while in the water, which was amazing. And it works incredibly well. But there's one little caveat, which is it does weigh a bit. This weighs about five pounds just as is. And once you get a camera and a lens inside of it, you're looking at kind of eight to nine pounds. Again, depending on which lens you're using, what dome you're using, and so forth, it could be up to 10 pounds. So when you're in the water, granted you do have the water to help support you when you're under the water, but the way that we were shooting was I got into my wetsuit, which by the way, I bought specifically for that shoot, and then I didn't even use my wetsuit since then, and I can't return it because it's a wetsuit. They don't allow it, and that'd be gross. Why would anybody return a wetsuit? That's just disgusting. Okay, so I had my wetsuit, I had my, my fins on my legs, which broke within two seconds because they were already cracked anyway. So basically, I had that and a paddleboard with my Icolite, and I swam out with them um, on the boogie board, and they were on their paddleboards. Did I say paddleboard? They had the paddleboards. So I'm going to tell you that it was a challenge and that is being very kind with my description. It was very difficult, and for those of you that are doing underwater shoots frequently, I totally feel for you. Now, the thing is, I would have loved to get underwater. We actually had that plan to get under the water and shoot, but the area that we're shooting in was too murky, so under the water, we couldn't really see anything. So for that, you really need to be in a more clean area, a tropical area where the water does not get dirty and mucked up and so forth by pollution and just the undertow and everything like that, or be in a swimming pool, of course. So, but we did use it to shoot throughout that entire piece, and I was out in the water for about an hour, and it worked beautifully. My autofocus, all my functionality was amazing. It was simple to use. It did, of course, get a little bit heavy, and it kind of required a lot of physicality, but that's just to be expected. Overall, it's a fantastic unit. It is incredibly well made. It comes in at a price point that, well, it's not inexpensive, but at the same time, for the protection that it's providing and for all the functionality, I can understand why they're charging what they do because 
obviously they don't make and sell a ton of these units. And so the price is justifiable. So if you are in the market for a hard case underwater housing, I highly recommend the Icolite. It comes in at a great price point compared to everything else that's available on the market. It's built very, very well. It's sturdy, it is reinforced, it's incredibly safe on your camera, and it's also easy to use, easy to put together, and also easy to maintain. So I'd highly recommend it and also let you know that they do have a new version available for the 5DS. So if you're looking at the 5DS, they have a version of this for both the 5DS and 5DS R as well as the 5D Mark III. So that's it for this video. I can't wait to get this guy out on more underwater shoots. My name is Pi and I'll see you all in the next video. Everybody, my name is Pi and welcome to SR Lounge where we are here. Did I say that? I feel like I waved at a weird point. I'm like, <laughs> what's up everybody?